glass will do a thing called magnetic or not. So they're taking a magnet and touching, you know, a, a penny or whatever. And we've we've told kids for a long time, magnet our money is not magnetic, right? Canadian money is, but but U.S. Is it currency? really their paper currency is magnetic? No, well, I don't know about that, but I know they're just regular the coins, little coins loonies are? or whatever they're I called. Didn't know I don't that. know. Oh. So so watch this. There's a dollar bill. So I'll show you how to do this. Ready? Take your ordinary dollar bill, hang on to it like this. I like that little fold in the dollar bill so oh, that you can right, kind of. Okay. All right, so hold it like this so it kind of dangles oh, this way. Like this? There you go. Thanks for coming to rehearsal. Okay. Perfect. All right, so now we take the magnet and kind of get close to it and watch what happens. You can actually pick up. Do you see how it's you drawn can. to it? It's drawn to the so magnet. So it's drawn. There it is right there. Look at that. So there's actually magnetic ink in that dollar bill. Oh, so if you were to put a dollar bill, for example, in a vending machine and it was a, a fake dollar bill, then one of the tests would be whether or not they're using that special uh, magnetic ink. Okay. So if that's the case, then why don't we get this out of the dollar bill? We've yes. taken the, the iron out of total cereal. Why not the dollar bill? Can we do that? Absolutely. So here we go. You ready? So you uh -oh. get a blender, right? So that's the first <laughs> thing you need to do is get a blender and fill it with water, and then you just kind of Put the dollar bill in the blender like okay, this, right. and then you're going to whip it up a little bit. There you go. Oh, gee. And there it goes. And, of now, course, the first thing that's going to happen is people will call and say, you're destroying U.S. currency. That's exactly right. That's so right. it's kind of like pressing a penny, all right? <laughs> uh, you can press a penny. No problem with pressing a penny. You just can't put it back into circulation, right? right? So you're not going to put this back into circulation, but you're really going to have to let it sit there and grind for a couple minutes, okay? All right. So okay. through the magic of television, I ground it for you already, yeah, all right? All so here it is. Up. All right, so here's your dollar bill. Okay. And it's all ground up, so I'm going to let you do the honors here. Okay. All right, so what I want you to do is this. You're going to put the uh, ground up dollar bill in here. Okay. You're going to put this on top. Put your hand on top of that. Turn the whole thing upside down. Kind of rock it back and forth, yeah, because you really want to attract as much uh, iron and that ink as possible to that magnet. So my magnet is going to leach you got it out it, if, you in got fact, it. it's in there, If right? it's in there. It's in there. It's like a Mythbusters episode, oh, but it's okay. fast, right? So put done? your hand on top, turn it upside okay. down, and slowly, it's okay. Now you can kind of lift up and slowly start to pull that away, and you can you start to away. see. You ready? So... See oh, that black look at that. That's look right at that. There? Can you see that little black there it is. line there? There it is. There it is. So there is so the iron. So that's the, the iron in the dollar bill. That's the iron right there in the dollar bill. How so you about have that? successfully removed the iron from the dollar bill. You've increased your uh, liquid assets. Uh, I don't have any other jokes. <laughs> right? I, I don't really know. That is that amazing? Cool.